what's up guys i finally decided to dedicate one full youtube channel to all of my art and everything i do so this channel is mainly going to focus on how i do my art the process um pretty much everything i'm going to show you guys step by step what i do i'm going to talk a lot more after this video i'm going to upload two time lapses of two 30 second time lapses of paintings just to get some stuff on my channel. I'm gonna give you a tour of my room, my setup, what I'm using, like pretty much everything. So here we go. All right, you walk in. We have, this is mission control back here. Right here we got my portfolio, and in there I, I got life drawings in here, some old work. But when I uh, go through my sketchbooks, I'll show you what's in there. And under the coffee table is a ton of sketchbooks that you will be seeing soon. Over here we have uh, a shitload of paint, a dog toy for some reason, um, old prints in here, old, old art. Over here we got tons of brushes, paint markers, photo references. Uh, this is mainly um, acrylic shit is right here and I keep all my oils down here and mineral spirits uh, Here's one of David Bowie for you We got my main easel. I pretty much use this for my big paintings, but I <clears throat> I made an easel for my coffee table that pretty much sits on it so I can sit here and it's like level and everything works out perfectly. I just have all my paint here. Just got more unfinished pieces over here. There's everywhere. Now I got all my speakers, big sound system over here. I have like a 30 foot aux running all the way back to mission control. Same with the VGA cable so my, my computer monitor my computer monitor can uh, show up on my TV. Keep all my canvas back here. Got a bunch of it. Got big boys over here. Just did this. Someone buy it. <laughs> In this video, I'll explain a little bit about my process, all right? So here, I took a black and white reference picture. I didn't take the picture, but I found it, of David, uh, the sculpture by Michelangelo. And I always do like, well, my, my older style was kind of just crazy background and then crazy colors for the values that's how that came along this is one of my favorite paintings I have three by four feet uh, this was an art project right here this is Scarlett Johansson I really don't even remember what the project was on but another three by four feet I honestly don't like it that much but it looks good so this is a piece I never really got to finish the reference I was using for this was actually um, a digital art piece and uh, I mean it's I, I could easily finish it probably but I just have so much work to be done. Lately I've just been stocked up on like commission work. I have to paint shit for people and get paid and I'm not getting paid for this. So. I haven't told you, painting is pretty much my job. Um, I paint every day as much as I can usually and I mean sometimes I'll, I'll paint things I want and people will buy them off me but lately people have been requesting paintings and I'll paint them for them and then they'll pay me. And uh, that's pretty much been taking up my time recently is um, just getting work done for people. I really don't get to paint what I want as much anymore, but I'm still painting, so I could care less. But I do enjoy painting what I want to paint more. Like, um, as you can see here, this is a cityscape that I designed, and there's going to be crazy clouds, crazy <laughs> crazy colored buildings, pretty, pretty similar to this one, but um, this one's just a lot bigger. And I have a lot more detail. I just haven't got around to it. Because I've been really busy lately uh, doing commission work and shit. Just, it's, it's my job, so. These are the old ones that I'll bring out and show you guys. This one's not very old. This is an acrylic. Acrylic on canvas. And I just put some girl. I actually started painting with oil before acrylic. And oil is a little more complicated. It takes a little longer to dry. So that's an old one. Yeah, I really like to use, uh, I used to like landscapes a lot, um, mainly because it wasn't as much of a challenge, and then when landscapes uh, got a little too, I don't know what to say, boring or easy, I started moving to faces, and strictly um, 
iconic people so you know who they are, like him, and when it comes to this, you it has to be perfect or you won't you won't know who it is. So it was a little more of a challenge to me to paint paint portraits and people that are known. It it honestly was a little more fun plus just the whole shading of the face and the values and everything and using color. It's a lot more intriguing to me than painting a landscape. But don't get me wrong, I love painting landscapes too. Like, that's fun too. Uh, I never finished this. This is the lead singer of Cage the Elephant, Matt Schultz. Probably could finish that pretty quick, but I don't have time. This is a crazy landscape I was making up forever ago. Pretty sweet mountains, pretty sweet sky. I was gonna have some crazy architecture, a little cabin, a little river in the middle reflecting everything. But yeah, this is uh, my studio. It's a really good workspace. I used to, my room used to be upstairs and not have enough space for everything in my room. As you can see, I have a lot of speakers, a lot of things to put on walls, like drum sets, tables, computer, desk, couch. It just wasn't working out upstairs and I used to paint my laundry room, which is actually right there. And my mom was getting pissed because I was just taking up so much space in there. So they're like, yeah, you know, I guess you can take the basement. We'll just make your room into something else. Worked out great. Love my room. I come down here. It's just the vibes I want. It's a, it's a nice environment. I don't worry about anything. But uh, yeah, I'll be posting a lot more videos soon. So stay tuned for art, vlogs, mainly pretty, pretty much just the process of my art, what I'm doing, how I'm doing it. And uh... Fuck, dude.